This is so brainy, but it's okay. That's part of the game. You do realize that. Let's not stop quite yet. Uh, is everything okay there? Okay. Okay. Are we ready to start? I, I think we are. I, I'm quite not quite sure when the time is supposed to start. But I, I, I'll, I'll tell you when you start. Just be ready with be, the time. Be, be ready. So, this is Lost in Nightmares co op. And. Uh, we're basically going to do uh, tasks, different tasks at the same time. Same time. Is uh, the timer going? Yeah, timer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Good job. I started explaining. Don't, don't slap my knee. Uh, we're doing different tasks to achieve the same goal, which is to advance to the next area. We have pistols in this area, but uh, there aren't any enemies to shoot at, so we're going to shoot at guns because Shooting the doors and going through them is faster than opening them. Uh, yeah, I'm playing as a Chris. Chris. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Jill. Um, so I'm the uh, good looking one. But yeah, in the beginning we had different tasks. So, uh, like here, I'm gonna help uh, Nico to with this door and you know, shoot it once or twice. I'm gonna go up the uh, stairs and go start playing Moonlight Sonata. And I'm gonna come behind and actually shoot the door so that uh, when we come back again, we don't need to open the door. Okay, so this is pretty difficult. <laughs> I, can get I, I get easily distracted. You have to press one of two buttons. It's not, it's not that easy. And Chris is running on the background. That's really distract distracting me. So, uh, there is actually an awesome glitch okay. you can do here, but it requires a grenade, and getting a grenade in the beginning is pure luck. Yeah. And there is quite low chance to get it. The so way we're doing it right now is way more consistent, so we, would, we don't want to reset like 50 times. Yeah, we counted, it was like 50 to 25 times to get one grenade, and so we weren't able to practice it properly, so... Uh, okay, here comes... One thing that can well ruin the run, but we're gonna reset. Uh, there is this one grenade throw uh, where I'm gonna throw the grenade through the like wall. I don't know, and it's gonna open up one lock. So if I miss that, we're gonna reset, but it should be okay. Hopefully, at the same time, I just pick the lock and uh, I'm gonna go get a password. We need three passwords to uh, open up a computer and uh, advance to the next area. If you look up upper screen now, you can see me trying that. On the first try, you can clap. Nice. No clapping. We didn't. We didn't really need to. Thank you. Practice that. That's a good clap. Maybe I'll. I was gonna clap for you, but I'm not gonna do that now. But yeah, now that uh, actually I got it, I have to wait a little bit for that. Uh, for nickname. Uh, we have we have the three passwords, but one of them is only he he sends the pa paper, so we have to go to a light source to get the actual password. 
now I have a little time to wait and read the chat. Usually the best case scenario is when that uh, Karska has to wait for me. So now I'm gonna burn the paper and get the last password. Ambient, yeah, Alas. God damn it, only English. So we inserted the three passwords. Now I like this and now I have to wait, wait, wait for you. Because I threw the grenade uh, the actually and uh, pulled the lever, what is not supposed to happen here. Uh, it triggered the cutscene uh, where like those bars came down, but the uh, lever was already pulled, so it put them back up and saves time. Well, did you see that bat? Scary. Spook Super bat. scary. Let's see if I can touch Chile's boot. Oi, oi. You're shaking the whole sofa. <laughs> I'm shaking the controller. Shake that healthy butt. So that was that area. Now we're gonna uh, find out that there's an enemy in this game. <laughs> yeah, actually that is the most interesting area in my opinion on the game. Uh, we're gonna run close to each other because if we run too far too far apart uh the enemy can actually hit us uh, or one of us if and there is an enemy it depends yeah sometimes sometimes there isn't one it should be r like right here but uh, the runs we've done uh Haven't had the like, enemy. The, like the last few uh runs we've done the enemy isn't there well, I, I, that was supposed to break the wall, but I never got it to work. But luckily, there is an enemy behind there and breaks Again, we're going to run close to each other because... Oh, oh okay, oh, okay. I was just about to say that there's, suppo there's supposed to be an enemy on those stairs, but not this time, so be careful. Something weird might happen. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stay behind these bars because I'm safe here. Well, at the same time, Koraska is going to use the key. And now we're going to do a tactical reset that is legit on this run. And that's going to bring a nickname next to me. Oh, no. This oh might no, be bad. This, this might be really bad, yeah. Yeah, look at the upper screen. I have to look at Chill Spot, which is OK. But I can't move meanwhile. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this might happen. Oh. The enemy might just crawl next to me. And I can do nothing but just look Chill Spot. Way to die. Oh, no, 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 no. He's so behind oh us. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> okay, so now we lost our weapons. And now there is more RNG coming up. We get either red or blue crank, and we hope to get the red one. Yeah. I uh, remember, blue, wait a little bit be before you go. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'll give you a go. No, I know when I know when to go. No, you don't tell me. You don't have to tell me what to go. I'm just, I'm an independent man. We go now. <laughs> I still told you. Oh, he noticed me. No, he didn't. Oh, he noticed me. Let's see the cr color of the crank. Red, 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 He's red. Here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm now gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have. Yeah. He's. I, I have to wait for you to. Get off the platform. Oh, no, 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 no. And then I've got to start turning it. Okay, so I need to lure this guy up, like, below this, here, so we can get a one item from him. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, that was fast. Nice. We had uh, moments. We actually thought that uh, the uh, difficulty le level defines what crank you get but we've had a lot of times when we just get the blue crank without yeah. any reason and like in the beginning we got only red crank so we was like okay yeah yeah this is an amateur so we thought that the, uh, on amateur we only get red for like 20 times in a row we get only red crank yeah and then we some blue crank started to appear 
So now Gorska is going to pick up a pistol. I'm not going to. I'm just uh, I'm just here going to. I'm, I'm just going to look good. Yeah. For the camera. He's going to handle the melee with me. Let's trigger Wesker like this. This is the uh, first and final boss. We have to uh, like punch or kick him like four, four to five time. times. Yeah. The oh, kind of the oh man, that would have been good. Yeah. You need to shoot like exactly when he's um, uh, jumping. Is that it? Is that it? Yes. Re ready, ready with the time. Ready with the time. What's time? Time now. Yeah, now. What's the time? Um, 8.40. Yay. But let's check out the in-game time, because that, that that's ac actually matters. Thank you. Let's skip the cutscene. New PB. <laughs> Yay, new PB. Nice. We need to submit this time to the speedrun.com. Yeah. Check it out, speedrun.com. It's a good site. Thank hey. you for the run. What's next? Amnesia? Amnesia. Yeah, Amnesia is next. So, uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the Speed Games United. There is so much left. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.